Hey, what's going on? What's going on, all my people? Hey, I'm back. Oh my God, I'm live. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Oh man, what's going on everybody? It's Jerry Goins for those who don't know or new. This is my new Facebook page. I uh, haven't gone live, live on it yet. So this is like a premiere of some sort. So if you don't know me, I'm big on uh, helping people get their credit right, helping businesses establish business credit, helping the businesses go on to get funding. We have a program that has a $50,000 funding guarantee. And we have so many other things as well as giving you the chance to be a financial consultant and start making your own bread on a weekly uh, and monthly basis. Very blessed to be a part of this business. <clears throat> So what this little birdie told me, right? Y'all can walk with me a little bit. I'm gonna go down here. Hold on a second, let me get my, get Maddie. But uh, a little birdie told me something I think everybody should know. And that's basically that FinTech is the future. So you might be saying, yo, Jerry, what is what's FinTech? What the heck are you talking about? Well, FinTech is the future. FinTech is financial technology. And it basically allows people to do things that used to require an agent, uh, things that used to require a person. FinTech is replacing those people. So we all know that jobs are becoming more and more automated, right? But what does that really mean? Like, it just means that machines and AI, computers, software, they can do the job better than we can as humans. You know, well, most jobs better than we can. They don't quit. They don't complain. They don't get tired. They don't say, I need a raise. You know, they don't get sick. They don't have graduations to go to, you know. And so what ends up happening is, you know, people start to get replaced by jobs that don't make mistakes. I mean, by, by robots and bots that don't make mistakes. So I'm talking about, you know, what? everybody got Cash App, right? So with Cash App, that basically replaced the bank teller, if you think about it. Now, instead of going to the bank and saying, hey, I want to put this money in so-and-so's account, you just Cash App them. So now the bank teller is not making mistakes and things like that. Shout out to everybody in the banking industry, though. Um, but it's, it's just way more reliable. Wouldn't you trust a computer to give out the right amount of money, if, especially if you have billions of dollars? you know, that you're controlling, you would trust that computer a little bit more than a person. Well, a lot of services are going that way in financial technology, not just banking. Banking was one of the very first um, financial services to go tech. So PayPal was a huge fintech company that came out. Uh, Stripe right now is the largest um, fintech company right now. So, I mean, Square, sorry. Square is the biggest one. So Square, I mean, they got cash up. They they control like 40 billion in Bitcoin. You know, they got all kinds of stuff going on, right? So shout out to Jack Dorsey. But um, Klarna is another big FinTech company. You know, they allow you to split up your payments into multiple payments, but you didn't talk to an actual person when you set up those payments. And all of that is done using API and code directly from, you know, the merchant's website to yours so to your bank account so all that's done just using computers but um but fintech is huge so now it's starting to grow into what's called insure tech that means that you can now buy insurance without actually talking to a, a broker or an agent um you also have the ability to purchase a home without talking to an agent all these things are going digital so what does that mean for the people, not only in those spaces, but what does it mean for you as an average person? You know, what it meant for me um, is that, you know, I can help people uh, manage their credit, get better scores, and do a lot of it using computers and technology, which allows a pretty nice profit margin from somebody that's actually doing it manually, filling out all of the different reports that's, um, you know, verifying the reports with their eyes and then sending out um, dispute letters and things like that. Now we can do that with technology, which makes it easy for anybody to kind of get in that industry. Uh, so FinTech is a $300 billion industry. It's expected to keep on increasing at a rate of 20% per year. So 
this industry will create some millionaires. It will absolutely create some billionaires. So the question there is, will you be one of them? So I didn't mean to make this too long and anything, but you know, we, we're out here and the only way that I'm standing where I'm at right now, talking to you right now from where I'm at, coming from where I'm from, you know, which is a, a trailer park in the country is, is bad enough that it's in the country. It's like, it, so it's even worse that it's a trailer park, <laughs> but I'm able to report to you live now due to taking advantage of being in the fintech industry. So Nove guys, Nove, you've heard of Nove before if you've been following me for any amount of time. What Nove is is a fintech company. You know, it's actually the only fintech company of its kind and it's only getting bigger and it's only getting better. Uh just heard some news this weekend. Man, listen. We're going to be doing some amazing things with fintech that you can actually profit from. It's going to happen anyway. That's like saying what if I told you that Square, uh, that Cash App was going to happen before Cash App happened and that you could actually be in on that before it even, you know, went live to the public? You know, you would be a fool not to, you know, want to get involved knowing now what you know about Cash App. So that's Fin Technology. What Nova is doing right now, listen, it is still ground floor ground floor on some amazing fin technology that has not even been released yet so that's all i could tell you about that but i just encourage you to meet with me you know jerrygoins.com slash one on one and i will meet with you i'll talk to you about the technology that we're unleashing how you can actually be a part of it you know it doesn't require any licensing doesn't require much studying you don't even have to be an expert there's people that's come in here and made thousands of dollars in their first 30 days and they are not experts. OK, <laughs> uh, so I just want you to know it was possible, but it's not possible without two things. Number one, you have to have faith in yourself and belief that there's something out there greater for you. You have to have that belief. If you don't, I can't help you. You have to want that for yourself. OK, and number two, you got to take action. You got to take action. There's never been a successful person that just had an, a great idea. They always took action. And that's the difference between like a business owner who somebody that's in the position to own a business or has equity in a business and an entrepreneur that's going out here with a business idea, despite the lack of resources that they have and they're getting the job done. So I just want to encourage somebody out there who's thinking about being an entrepreneur step up to the plate this is the perfect business it's a perfect opportunity for you to exercise your faith because that's what i truly feel that business is is just an exercise of faith because you don't see the results right in the beginning you have to have the faith that is going to carry you through all the turbulent times in your business all the naysayers all the haters all the people that don't believe in your business or believe in your mission you got to be able to see years in advance beside all of that all the smoke screens that the devil's going to be throwing at you you got to be able to to see beside that and see the long-term vision of yourself standing somewhere um you know by a million dollar property helping to inspire somebody else down the line all right so that's all i got for you this morning it's great to be live again i know people are still waking up half the people in the house back there <laughs> are still <laughs> sleeping uh but let me see if i can get y'all some some more footage um later on today we're not gonna do it right now because there's just so much so much i think it's like a ten thousand square foot house there's so much to show so um that's it that's all i got for y'all thanks so much for uh checking this out let me see how you're supposed to end these things now i don't even there we go oh wait no that's the wrong way